there we go. We can see 500 maybe is a bit too weak. I'm going to go and change. And this is the really handy thing about public variables. If I right click on the guys there and edit object behavior, instead of going into the script, I can just change that number really easily. That's pretty cool. Now, how about the animation? It looks kind of silly when the geyser doesn't actually do anything. So let's edit its script. And we're going to trigger an animation. The animation on this geyser is called Eruption. So we'll go to our animation section and grab that play animation block. We'll say play animation name Eruption. Um, and we'll do this when it gets. Uh, after it sends out that message. Now as we know with animations, when we play them once they'll just keep looping. So we'll go to animation again and we'll grab when animation name has completed. The name is eruption and instead of completed we want looped because as soon as it loops again it'll never actually complete. So when it loops once we'll get it to go and play the animation called idle. I -D -L -E. By the way, that's the default animation name for every single object. It has a default name of idle. And there we go. We can see that looks really cool. So you can have a lot of fun with something like that.